I'm Tony. I'm your host for Feed Your Creativity. Thank you for stopping by. Today is day two of the Orlando Pen Show 2023 edition. The first full day of the Pen Show. I'm already seeing stuff to buy. There's a bunch of tables, wonderful people here, wonderful sellers. People have come from different states, Ohio, Kentucky, North Carolina, Georgia, all over the place to be at this Pen Show. It's much bigger than last year. I'm excited to go look at the booths. Let's go feed your creativity. We're going to be um, auctioning off one of these on Saturday. Basically, if you can give me, whoever gets the closest estimate of uh, how many we have in there, it's 10 years worth of hole punching. Oh, retro 51. I got one last year. That was probably epic. She just trying to kill them. Wow. This egg encases the dragon pen. That's but the one that if you guys are gonna be around tomorrow, I'm gonna try to unveil the next one, which is edgy. It's a big dragon made out of bronze and it wraps around this. And inside you have bronze and silver dragons. Then we have our newest edition, which is Star Wars have all the ships, Imperial, and you have Dark Vader just blew up one of them before it got to him. This pen is gonna have the Death Star as the pen holder. So when you put it in, it looks like everybody's going into the Death Star. Right? You have a stair spiraling with angels going through the clouds. And on the opposite end, an angel saving your ink before it falls. This one is the first time we unveiling. This is gonna be our big one. This is a turbine pen. Looks right, normal, but once we tap here, look at the blade inside. Wow, that's cool. And it also, you open it. Yovo nibs that are in here mm -hmm. also fit the SD. So they fit the oversized SD, regular SD, Model J, and now the new cam bins that we have coming out. We have a second iteration of those. Okay. All use number six Yovo nibs. So you can switch your nibs. Two we're done with uh, the coffee, the bottom here, and your That's really cool. We've got these one next to this. We one pen once as well. This is black foam. Come with two trays. And six ten. That's really not bad. What about your work case? There you go, that's what you need. Handcrafted, looks like.
thirst. I have this. Save him. I have this Sunday. Save him. You gave me a business card. I gave you a card. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Because it's easy enough to take out the cartridge or you can use the shorter ones too. Yeah. And you can use different colors. I usually just recommend Pelican though because you, you know. Um, but the cartridges, I, I can dig through my stuff. I might have one if you wanted a converter. I can take one. Okay. But yeah, I only have like three of those left. And then they're done. I'm debating whether or not any people want for me. <laughs> I teach at a community college, and then this was at our Japanese tea ceremony in St. Louis. So that's why you're going to get matcha tea, and you get Hawaiian tea, and you get some postage. And I made the fold too. The Jato Star, shooting star. And the top, he has the telescope ver version of the moon. Wow. And the bottom, because it was the 42nd mission of this Italian astronaut who's a female. So it was first female commanding this operation. And he had read an article about it. So this commemorates her. And it was the 42nd mission, but he also had just read The Chiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So it goes along with it. Wow. Isn't that cool? Emma Newsham. Emma Newsham here. Emma, Emma Newsham. Emma Newsham, you have won yourself a fountain pen here.
pub nibs, man. Whatever. They're never. <laughs> they're rarely good out of the box. Out of the box. But... Exactly. Exactly. Just writing like, and no, it literally came out of the box. I need my hair. Ordered it, loved it. It's so pretty. All set, skipped all over the place. Oh. Two that are ever gonna be the same because when I make the make the panel section, I cast that in a six by six block. So you just said, hey, I want one that long stripe. It's purely random. You know, there's no way to predict what's inside. And you catch the difference between the burgundy bodies. It's not clear. It's a burgundy resin. So you actually see more of the color pop out. But you lose the depth versus the, the clear with a little sparkle in it. Mm. I, I can't choose which one I like the best. Mm -hmm. They both have properties I like. Stainless steel brush clip and set into the finial. Uh, the cabochon matches this one, the pink, which is in the shape of a hip. Yeah, so these five inches, we got a full size converter and a number six that is tight. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> and we get a little light. It does it does have a little fun to it, not just matte black, got some uh, pearl in there. Add a little light to it. This one. Is from NBC, so it's the non blue ones. It's a little umbrella. You could only get it with this story, I think they only made like 250. My friend suffered hard for it. <laughs> Here, people told me I was crazy. They said, there's no market in Orlando. You'll never make it. And uh, I begged to differ, and we proved them wrong. So we had, a, we had a great turnout last year. We got a lot of, I see a lot of the same faces back this year. And I'm loving it. We're having fun with it, and we're doing some things for charity. We're having a good time. So I love fountain pens. That's why I started doing this. This is going to be a simple class. It's This class is fountain pen 101. It's just the very basic stuff. I'm not gonna go into detail on a lot of things because I could spend, for paper for instance, we could spend an entire day discussing paper. We could spend an entire day discussing how you tweak a nib. We could spend an entire day on ink. So I'm just going to go over the very basics of the fountain pen uh, to get people familiar with a fountain pen. That's the whole idea of, of this class. Okay, everybody, if you'll take out your pen. Well, first of all, let me tell you this. Anytime someone hands you a fountain pen or you pick up a fountain pen, first of all, it's, it's good to ask permission because a lot of these pens are very expensive. And I had a pen once that I was showing, I was showing a lady and I was holding it like this and it was a Visconti Medici. Visconti has a twist turn cap and I was holding it, telling her about it and she grabbed it out of my hand and said, oh, let me see and pulled the cap off. Yeah, that was my reaction. I, my next reaction was I wanted to strangle.
one is from a pen maker who's right here in Florida, Tampa, Florida, Mr. Jason Olson, Right Turns Pens. Uh, this is a really gorgeous pen with a uh, clip on it. It's got a, looks like a starfish on the on this end. It's beautiful colors from the coral reefs. It's got ocean waves on the uh, band around the cap. Beautiful pen. Let's give this away. <laughs> And the winner is 803 7412. 7412. 803 7412. You. No. No, not you. <laughs> yep, you. Woo! so much fun it was great wrapping up with everyone talking to everyone last pen findings and what people learned and it was amazing last night at the party I got to hang out with Nick I'll link his Instagram below incredible artist amazing copper plate he actually had a class here during the weekend for copper plate script super talented he actually ended up making me a feature creativity artwork i will share that below and on instagram check me out on instagram for that it was incredible getting to speak with him and seeing his pen collection i can't wait till year three of the orlando pen show hopefully it'll be hosted here again at the the florida hotel and conference center it's attached to the mall it was just a great location convenient for food and a lot of fun so glad they hosted us this year and that wraps up the second annual Orlando Pen Show. I had a blast. I'm incredibly tired, but completely well worth it. I made a bunch of friends, got some cool stuff. I'll be doing a haul video. Hopefully later in the week we'll be putting that out. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you came to the Orlando Pen Show, please tell me what you got. Comment below. Hope to see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Feed Your Creativity.